air water and weather the weather is all around us all the time it is important part of our lives and one that we cannot control instead the weather often comes how and where we live what we do what we wear and what we eat weather is described as hot humid cold rainy cloudy and windy changes in weather takes place because of the sun when the sun shines bright it heats the land this causes the air above it to get heated up warm air is lighter than cold air so it rises up cool air then rushes to take its place this causes the wind to blow during noon sun rays fall directly on earth making it hot day and night are caused due to the rotation of the earth on its axis earth revolves around the sun and the part of the earth which is nearer to the sun receives more heat has longer days and experiences summer the other half receives less heat so the days are short and that part experiences winter air air is important for the planet as it contains the gases necessary to support plants animals and other organisms it helps us to breathe the earth's atmosphere and air around us is always moving wind is simply moving air sometimes it moves slowly creating a gentle breeze other times it can move faster creating stronger more powerful winds we cannot see the wind but we can see what it does to the trees outside coastal areas the wind blows from the sea to the land during the day this is called sea breeze during the night the wind blows from the land to the sea this is called land breeze when the sun shines land gets heated up more than water however at night land cools down faster than water this causes land and sea breezes water water is very important for life all living things need water to live water is useful in many ways it is used in generating electricity as well most of our body weight is due to water all the parts of the body require water to function properly when water changes into water vapor it is known as evaporation example wet clothes dry due to evaporation on cooling the water vapor changes into water this is known as condensation example when a chill bottle of water is kept on a table you can see tiny drops of water on the outer surface of the bottle this is because the water vapor in the air condenses on the cool surface of the bottle impurities present in water most of the water available on the earth is not fit for drinking water from rivers and lakes is pumped into the water works in the city after passing through filters special substances such as bleaching powder are added to kill germs clean water is then pumped into our homes sea water is very salty and unfit for humans plants and animals water is very useful at home and it should be stored in clean containers water should not be wasted and in case of a tap leakage it should be repaired immediately